What three draw? What three jobs Granddaddy got? Sell cars, paint cars, take care of me. Good. I love you, Granddaddy. We love you too, Granddaughter. Where is the wisdom? Trust God. Hustle hard. Longevity is hard to achieve on your own. That's my intro. Okay, y'all. <clears throat> I'm back. It's still the same day, but uh, I'm going to just give y'all a look because I'm going to try to do these wheels uh, before I put them prime because I, once I get the wheels done, I'm going to cover them up. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to show y'all the process that I go through. So, and I'm going to tell y'all what I'm doing and let you see it. I'm going to do one little section so you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay. First, I take this awesome and I spray the wheels down. Just spray it down. Yeah, this is awesome from the dollar store. Not no rim clean or nothing like this. Just some awesome from the dollar store. Now let this sit for a minute. Hold on. <clears throat> now you see how dirty these wheels is. Then I take my rag and I wipe them down. Get all this dirt off of them. And I'm going to do this section right here because I'm sure that's where the camera is at so y'all can see what's going on. And you see how messed up that still is. Okay, what I do, I take 2,000 grit sandpaper right here. It's wet. I go over the whole little section that I'm going to do. Remember what I said, 2,000. Okay, now I come back with some 3,000. You can see that, 3,000. Right behind the 2,000, still wet. I do it like this. Keep going, keep going. Okay, there's one section of y'all on the time, so y'all see it ain't taking that long. Okay. Okay, that's one section done. Okay. Then I take my mother's, which is this right here. If you can, I know y'all can see it, I believe. I just take my finger and I rub it in real good with my finger. Okay, then I take a little bit more of my finger. And then I take my, my B8, but I got a little pad made for it. That's, Cause that's just what I do. I use this just for the uh, wheels. And it's on my air compressor, so the air compressor might kick on, but I'm gonna try to do it without it kicking on. Let y'all see the outcome. <laughs> Take my finger again. I give me a little bit more. And I rub it in. It'll start turning real black. Rub it in with my finger. But sometimes I just use a, a wet rag too though. But I'm just trying to show y'all right quick. Okay. 
Yeah. Let me find my. Hold on, let me get a dry rag. Okay, where is my dry rag? Take my dry rag, and then I just buff it out. And this took every bit of two or three minutes. And now you see from that to that. In a few minutes. Now that's just what I do. I'm sure other people do different things. And I ain't telling nobody what to do. I'm just letting you see what I do. And this is the results. Up close. This is aluminum. That almost look like chrome. And I'm going to do all the wheels. But I just want to show y'all. What we're looking for. Because we don't want to paint this truck and have it leave here with these wheels looking like they look. But if we can get these results with this new paint, like I said, it would be much, much better. And like I said, this is just a favor. It ain't no, just something I'm going to do in my spare time just to get it done for them. All right. Holler back. Okay, I went ahead and just done the whole wheel so y'all can see. Done the whole wheel. I'm trying to do a little catch up because I had messed around and took me a little trip. Went to the junkyard. Got me some, some more um, simulators for my duty, the one I just got. Got a piss junkyard. I'm gonna put these little, I'm gonna put these, get it cleaned up. Put them on now. Make it look good. That's what a poor man have to do. I can't afford those 22 inch Alcoa wheels, so it's the best I can do right now, so I just have to roll with it. But yeah, we're gonna put those on there. And Make it look good. But yeah, I just want to show y'all what the difference going, what the difference is. This is the back wheel still messed up. And this is the front wheel. The whole front wheel is done. Yep. All right. Okay. We're going to try to do something about this engine bay too. Cause this is super nasty, man. Man, this is this is dirty right here. We're gonna try to do a little something to it. Okay, now we got the hood cleaned up a little bit. We taped off some stuff and painted around. Cleaned up up in there a little bit. just to make it look more presentable. We're gonna cover it up so we don't get no oil spray on it. Cleaned up pretty nice. Now I'm gonna let y'all get a little footage of me priming this truck. Just put a little primer on it right now. This is the first primer. I'm probably gonna change it over a little bit. I'm gonna do the gray next.
Okay, I just want y'all to see how this primer go on. I like to use this primer because, man, it's sand. I mean, it's sand so smooth before that next primer go on, which would be the great primer. Whenever I take a, a car or truck down to, to the metal, on a lot of places, I like to use this first. But then I sand it with some folded 600. Then I come back. Then I put the great primer on it. And then I go ahead and get ready. But this is Sunday. It's just a... Just the first prompt. Then I put some more on after I sand this down. Holler back. Okay, it's Monday. 11.48. 69 degrees in the shop, but it's rainy and stuff like that. I've been out here for a while. Because I done already. I want to show y'all how I already wet sanded that first primer that I told y'all I was putting on. Like I told you, it wasn't going to be, it wasn't going to stay on. It was just going to be I like to put it on first, and then wet sand it down as far as I possibly can, and then I come back, and she's slick. I'm talking about, boy, she is slick. That's what I want, that's what I like. I come back a little later on, once it get dry. It might be today, but by then, uh, humidity is so high, it's gonna rain so much, I might not get a chance to do it today. I might have to wait till tomorrow. But I will be putting the gray primer on next. But that's where we at. That's where we at. Boy, she is slick. You can't even hear nothing, feel nothing. Just slick. But that's where we at. So, first primer, sand it down, going to the next primer. Holler back. Okay, we going on with the gray primer. This is the second primer that I'm putting on. It's still Monday. Um, we done sanded it down, got it smooth, uh, washed it, wet sanded, all that good stuff. So now we finna, I'm gonna let y'all get a little of this footage.
meet you back in a minute. Okay, we got the whole truck in gray primer this time. All the way around. We had one spot that had a what I like to call a chemical reaction, I guess to the other primer, either one still a little wet or whatever. Had a little spot that just crinkled up right here. I don't know if you can see it. But once it get hard, I just sand it down and just re just put a little bit more primer right there and it'll be good. But everything is done. She primed up, she looking pretty good. Still got a few little dings in it, but we ain't gonna get all the dings out. Um, we're not, it's not gonna be a show truck. We just gonna try to make it look a whole lot better than what it did when it came. But there you go, second primer. Probably gonna be the last primer because it's looking pretty good um, to me anyway. Uh, so what I do, first chance I get, I'm gonna go ahead and Put that ooh wee on it, gonna spray it. Holler back. All right, it's Tuesday, it's 12. I've been out here for a couple of hours. I went ahead and put the um, some black on this truck. The reason I do this, this is this will show you all your imperfections. Believe me, when you think you get like the gray prompt of. The brown primer, the rust looking primer was just a, for me to have something on the surface. The gray primer, you know, was I thought would just get the job done. Then when I come back with this, it shows me all the imperfections. And I found about four or five places that's gonna have to be sanded down some more. See that little spot? Got a spot right there. Got a couple spots on this door. A little spot here. A little spot here. And then it's got a little run looking spot that it ain't even a run, but I guess it's just on the on the body of it. Car, so I gotta take that all the way down again. And then over here on this side, we got something going on right here so I gotta sand that down again let everything get dry and hard sand it down and see what's going on in that spot and now I see another little spot right there that I need to take down again but the back Everything on the back looks pretty good. I don't see nothing back here. But, like I said, this will show you the imperfections. And I got about four or five spots I got to fix before I paint it. But she will be ready to paint real, real soon. I'm going to let this get dry. Um, let it set out here for a couple of hours. It's real nice today, so it's 70 some degrees inside this shop, so it should... She'll dry pretty fast. And uh, yeah, and I come back, I fix them spots. Then I hit it again in them spots with the black and see what it do. And then if everything work out, then I should be ready to spray it pretty soon, depending on the weather. Yeah, there it is. It's coming along real good. It ain't that bad, it's just a few. Just a few little minor spots, man. That's that's just part of it. Um, like I said, if it was my own car, it probably wouldn't be. It ain't that bad for me, cause I just drive my stuff around, then I end up selling anyway. But for somebody, for my neighbor, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the time and get all this stuff out, work with it. And like I said, plus. It's just a learning experience for me. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm just learning how to do this stuff and I'm trying to learn how to have patience to get it done. Instead of just, you know, I'm so used to just being able to get something in and get it out. It's good that I can go through this and still, still get the job done. 
but it's looking pretty good looking pretty good man compared to the way it was when it came in here hey i'm already impressed with it oh, sure but yeah yeah we'll holler back later on today when it get dry it's saturday 11 46 58 degrees january 30th and y'all know i've been messing with this truck for a pretty good while i ran into some problems so it took me some days to get it straight um this is the base coat going on i didn't really have time i'm, I'm trying to hurry up and get it done before it rain or something later on but this is the base coat Y'all, I had a lot of problems with this truck. A lot of problems. A lot of problems. But, we're gonna get it right. And that's all we can do, is just work hard and get it right. Like I said, this is the base coat. I'm gonna let it set for about five more minutes. Then I'm gonna start putting the clear on. And I'll probably put y'all back on, but I really don't, I'm not gonna be able to get a lot of footage because I'm, I'm kind of like pressed for time because it's supposed to rain later on. So I'm trying to get this done so it can get dry before it rain. Okay, we got the clear on it. I put the light on it so y'all can see how it changed colors. See how bright it's gonna be when the sun hit it, but then when the sun ain't hitting it, how dark it's gonna be. I just want to get y'all that effect. Now, I'm about to get out of here and let it dry for a little while. Give it about 30 minutes or so. She should be dry. Man, she looked mean from the front. For real. She really looked mean. As you can see, we done like I said. Painted the mirrors black. The door handles black. I got clear on all that stuff to make it look new again. So, it look real good. I mean, compared to the truck that come in here, wow, this is something serious right here. <clears throat> but it did give me a hard time. I ain't gonna even front. I had some, I had some chemical reactions to some stuff, man. And the only way I really figured out what to do, I was watching um, one of Grant Seven new videos. And he had the same thing happen and and he kind of like shared what it was so then i figured it out so i came back let it got dry sanded down to the metal a couple times and started over with it and, and now she's done so there it is people there it is like i said this is not perfect But, man, it's beautiful to me. It's beautiful to me. Okay, this is the uh, this is the owner right here of this truck. This is my neighbor. <laughs> Rex, tell me what you think about your truck. I love it. You love it? Yeah, it looks a whole lot better than what it did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a uh, Rex here. He's my neighbor here. He a good man. He a good man. And I like him. And that's how come I took the time to try to make sure I got this truck as decent as I could get it. Because he, he's a real nice guy. He, and he done took time with his grandkids. He done taught them well. They real respectful and everything. So that means a whole lot. So You done a good job. And I'm glad he, we got another satisfied customer. I'm glad he like it. And hey, and I like it. I believe, and I'm, believe me y'all, I, hey, 
the truck got to look good to me first because hey, I I got to be happy. Cause if I ain't happy, it ain't it ain't leaving here. But I'm I'm very happy with this truck. In fact, I just can't wait to get mine in here. But we gonna holler back. My homeboy coming in. Hey, this is my homeboy Dwight. He coming in to check out the paint job. What tell me what you think about it, cuz check it out. It's all right to me, man. Good job. I don't see nothing wrong with it. Real good job. Well, that's what's up. Hey, that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do. Huh? Shouldn't be no complaints on this. Nah, he already been over here, man. He, he, hey, he, he happy. He is happy. Cause I know I'm happy. Yeah, man. This front end ain't gonna hurt him though, boy. I ain't lying. That 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 front end gonna hurt him coming down the road. Man, that's gonna hurt right there, buddy. For it to be just a regular grill. Huh. <laughs> For it to be just a regular grill. Yeah. And she look like something else. That blue is that blue is bad. Yeah, nice yep. Well, all right, you two. This is what it's this is what it is. This is what it is. Down here in the country. In the country. Y'all holler back.